Let's move to our call of the day now. It's Chipotle added to Cowan's restaurant conviction list. That stock's up an astounding 40% in just three months. Tasting good for Joe Terranova. Joey T, you love this call. How could you not? I, I do, and I'm going to be staying with this uh, stock. This is a company that is going to continue to see revenue growth towards 20%. And if there's a concern about valuation, but you're growing at 20 percent, you're going to be able to ultimately uh, grow into that valuation. So one point two billion dollars in cash, no debt on the balance sheet, a focus on digital menu opportunities. And we haven't even begun to restore uh, the lunch revenue to where it was pre pandemic. That will ultimately come as we see uh, workers going back and occupying uh, their business workplace. So I, I, I think with the introduction of digital, in addition to the in-store presence, this is a company that you want to stay with for the long term. I think it trades well above 2000. OK, so how do you respond, though, to somebody mm -hmm. like Farmer Jim, who would suggest, I'm <laughs> yeah. sure, oh, Joe, I'm riding around on my tractor and I just can't get my arms around the valuation. <laughs> it's at 61 times earnings, Joe. McDonald's is at 25. He would have said that. Now, he would have said that a, th a thousand percent ago. No. He's like, now, yeah, Joe, that's great, I don't, but you know what? We are where we are now. I don't own either one of them. Now. I don't, I, I don't own earnings. either one of them, Joe. I'm bewildered by this. How do you respond to that? Okay, I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't hear Jimmy. Jimmy, what'd you say? We are where we are now. What? Finish yeah, that I thought? just, I just, we are where we are now. I acknowledge that I missed this right. stock. It's factual. It's 62 times earnings, okay. three times peg ratio. Okay. And I'm asking you honestly, okay. where does it go from here? Why do I buy it at 62 times earnings? Because Brian Nickel and the management team have come in and they've initiated a platform in which their revenue growth is up 100% from where it was on the prior 36 months. The company is now growing in the last is that quarter. Is that reflected? The, that is reflected in the current price. If the sales growth, and I think this is the problem, Jimmy, why do we assume that that sales growth stalls? Why do we assume that that sales growth couldn't expand even further? Why does that have to be the premise? I don't think we are. I, I don't think we are do assuming mean? that, Joe. I think with a three times peg okay, ratio, so then, the market so is then value the pretty robust growth. Okay, so Jimmy, value the company, 30% revenue growth of the coming next four quarters. Would you say it's going to trade at 40 times earnings then? I, the, the answer is I don't know. And, you know, I'm actually not trying to provoke you. Oh, no, you're doing a good say, job. I hey, like it. I don't Please know that continue. The multiple Please yeah, continue. But I don't, I don't, here's the point is I just don't know where you go with the multiple from here. It's just that simple. I mean, do you go hey, do you go get hey guys. better expect better than expected results and get a 40 times multiple or do you get expected results and go to a 70 times? I'm calling multiple? you an idiot, but I'm really I, I not. One, insulting it just seems you. a little difficult to buy. That's why okay. Stephanie Link. So that's why Joe Stephanie Link owns McDonald's at only 25. What is it? 25 times. I can't even read 25 times. Hey, yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. Wings, Wingstop trades at 120 times. Maybe you should look at that one. Steph, <laughs> you should short it. You should short it. I'm, McDonald's. Yeah. I mean, McDonald's, is on, it's only up 11% in the year, so it's lag, the broader averages. It trades at 25 times. It gives you a 2-2 yield. They have a great menu simplification strategy, positive momentum from digital, delivery, drive through. So I like what they're doing. And it acts like a staple, right? So it acts like a defensive stock. If you want to grow stock, that's Chipotle. If you want a defensive stock with a yield, that's McDonald's. That's more my style, especially where we are in the market.